and modern creature decks have been struggling to keep up with all the efficient removal spells like Fury, Unholy Heat, and many others. But one creature based deck has continued to dominate in the modern format. In today's video, I'm going to be playing a deck called Yogmoth. This is a creature combo deck that's essentially all around the card Yogmoth Transposition. Yogmoth reads Protection from humans, pay one life, sacrifice another creature, put a minus one, minus one counter up to one target creature and draw a card. Two black mana, discard a card, proliferate. While Yogmoth looks like a mediocre sack outlet in the OK draw engine, in this deck, if this card ever resolves, you've pretty much already won the game. The reason why this is so powerful in this deck is this deck plays eight undying creatures. The reason why undying creatures are so important to this combo, because undying says when this creature dies, if it had no plus one plus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one plus one counter. And with Yogmoth, when you put a minus one minus one counter on a creature, it nullifies the plus one plus one counter. This means that you can draw as many cards as you have life. And this is if you don't find a blood artist or a prospect for a Zenkeeper because both of these allow you to start gaining life off of these effects. This deck is also playing seven tutor effects to get the card onto the battlefield. This means that this deck is hyper efficient and hyper consistent. But as I said in the beginning, Fury is so powerful against these decks, so why is this one so resilient? Well, it's because the deck has the eight undying creatures, meaning that Fury doesn't even kill them. This, in addition to Gris the Hunger Tide, one of the best planeswalker for any sack outlet deck. Gris has a plus one that makes a one one green black insect, a minus two that kills any creature on the battlefield but you have the sack of creature and a minus five that makes each opponent lose life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard so in today's video i'm going to show you how powerful this jogmoth deck really is and why it's the only creature combo deck that's still in the format match one we're on the play with a bunch of dorks so we should keep talking to him and go noble whoa opponent goes breeding pool into glistener elf this is a great top deck so we'll go wall of roots into birds of paradise by removing or putting a minus one minus oh counter on the wall and our battlefield looks pretty sweet oh it scales up their glistener elf we're pretty much forced to chump block here we just can't afford to take six goodbye wall of roots we draw land off the top which is a great draw we will slam a grist just tick grist up and play young wolf if they had blighted agent i would down tick and kill it opponent cast an apostles blessing naming green on the glistener elf and they attack us i don't think that they can kill us because pro green means that they can't pump it with their own green pump spells so this seems like an interesting play yeah we just take one infect and they say go court of calling off the top amazing draw and now we will just cast a court of calling i believe we're gonna do it on their turn just in case they have a spell pierce here oh it plays a land into blighted agent no attacks for them so we'll just cast this cord on their end step here hope it resolves and they didn't have the spell pierce so we'll grab a yogmoth in this game should be over from here we'll just untap before we do anything so we will play a prosperous innkeeper into a strangle root geist and this means that we can draw as many cards as we want because each time a creature enters the battlefield we will draw a card off of it or gain a life off of it try and kill their creatures here they go for vines of the basswood we'll just kill it in response with another insect and that goes their blighted agent and now this game should be over they'll just never have a creature on the battlefield and we're just going to start drawing a bunch of cards sack guys to kill the glistener and then we'll just play a land pick up and then attack them in this game we there's no world we can ever lose so and we could kill them this turn with like the combo of finding blood artists but i'm fine just attacking them twice and they scoop it up anyways so let's get into sideboarding bring in the interaction and take out the slow cards because this is all about speed in this matchup for game two our hand has a way to find yagmoth and interaction so we'll keep when it goes land glistener elf another land off the top for us pretty sweet we'll pull peat land into fatal push when it goes land into blighted agent we drew a thoughts he's amazing draw we'll cast that on its hands pretty impressive but we'll just take the best pump spell for the mana cost we just play our land and pass to them i'm gonna cast the rot priest and tax us for one infect another land we'll just cast a strangle root guys and pass to the opponent an opponent just attacks with the blighted agent we cannot block an opponent cast another blighted agent so if they don't have a land this is our time to shine it looks like they don't birds of paradise an amazing draw so we will eldritch evolution away our strangle root geist finding yagmoth we will cast our birds of paradise put a minus one on a strangle root geist kill a blighted agent we top deck a young wolf good draw and we'll just kill the other blighted agent here because we do have a geist anyways that was a great turn for us opponent's board's basically nothing all we have to be worried about is this rot priest i'm certain there's almost no way that we can die here so we'll just take the one toxic or one poison damage and then opponent just plays a glistener elf after that i believe that we can just win this turn so we'll go young wolf until stranger root and just cast a vine so now we just have lethal here we will court of calling for a blood artist grab the blood artist off of the cord and then now they are 
are literally just dead because blood artist does infinite damage with two undying creatures on the battlefield and all we do is just put a counter on our other undying wolf this means that this can loop over and over again allowing us to keep doing this combo and draw a bunch of cards and uh, drain out our opponent for however many cards we have in our deck the opponent just made us execute the combo and that's their life total going down to zero so we take this one down let's get into match number two just a friendly reminder to leave a subscribe it really helps me out and it's free to do match two we're on the play again hand is a little slow but it's okay so we'll keep we'll just go turn one blooming marsh into a young wolf oh it goes turn one thoughtsies off of blood crypt oh it just takes one of our eldritch evolutions makes sense hierarch is a great draw so we'll go yavamaya hierarch and we'll attack for two here oh it goes land into a dothy it's a pretty good card against us through second cord also a fine draw for us so we'll just go land and hold up cord this turn find a two drop here oh it just goes land and attacks for three if the opponent does nothing we're gonna have to cord here and i'm gonna grab the prosperous sun keeper here i'm fairly certain the opponent's just holding up k command here but i'm not 100 percent certain yep opponent cast a cold guns command on their instep killing our ignoble and making us discard we'll discard the cord and we just draw a yagma a quite good draw so we'll just cast that chip in for two with our creatures and we do not want to kill our creatures because we want to end up casting this eldritch for a vizier at some point opponent just plays a land and grieves us gonna take our eldritch and then opponent ships in for three we draw a land so we're gonna lead on putting a counter on Dothi, sacking the innkeeper, on the Yagma. So we'll shock in our land, and then we're gonna discard the Yagma so that we can proliferate. And this means that we can kill the Dothi. And we will sack our wolf, put a counter on the grief. Land is on an amazing draw. So we'll actually fetch here, grab our dried arbor, put a counter on our young wolf, and then kill this grief. Seiju, not great. Sack the young wolf, kill the grief. And we just drew all lands. Dip in for two. When it bolts the young wolf, we'll just sack it. Draw a card. Any creature is not a bad draw, so burn birds is fine another land we'll just sack our bird and cycle it quite a few lands and we will still ship in for two the only concern is really ragavan but they could have bolted and dashed ragavan last turn so i don't think they have it but top decks the blood moon that's fine because we do have the sage you and we actually won't even use it we can just untap and use a forest another land nope attack in for two oh it just does land nothing we draw a grist fantastic that should be just the win so the blood moon here and cast our grist pick up with grist mills over another grist so we get two two activations Back for two. Opponent's turn's just absolutely nothing. So uh, actually, we'll just down tick the grist and try and win with that. Opponent scoops them up. Let's get on to sideboarding. Take out some of our mana dorks for interaction. For game two, our starting hand looks fantastic. So we'll keep. Opponent goes land into an evoked fear. I think they're just hoping this is 8 8 works, but we have endurance here. Cast Undying Malice on it. Talk about a blowout. Cast our endurance, getting rid of Hypatra. Endurance just happens, and opponent passes after that. We end up drawing grist. So we'll just go land and pass the turn. Opponent's cast a Thoughtseize. Taking our insect queen board fine draw we'll grab swamp here just to play around blood moon and slam our wall of roots when it plays out a malachar rebirth on their turn we draw an eldritch we will just cast our yagmoth here when it casts an ee -E for two on their turn i believe we just have the win here endurance is a fine draw so we are gonna cord for one here and find a young wolf and we're just gonna sack the young wolf we're digging for a another undying creature here we found a strangle root geist so we just need to find a green source here now Yavamaya, perfection. Cast the guys here, and now we get to go crazy. Opponent scoops them up real quick. Let's get on to match three. Match three, we're on the play again with another fantastic hand. We'll just shock in the tomb and play High Arc. Opponent goes Shockland into Esper Sentinel. Geist was a fantastic draw as well. We'll cast Wall of Roots and also cast our Geist here. And we'll attack in for three. Opponent goes Saga into Stoneforge Mystic. Mystic finds Colossus Hammer. So we are up against Hammer. Found a land off the top. We will just cast our Yawgmoth and start killing their creatures. Sack Geist to kill Esper Sentinel. We found a Young Wolf off the top. And we actually just have Lethal in their upkeep here. So we will pass the turn on their upkeep remove a counter off of wall which is why we couldn't do this on our turn cord for two and cord finds blood artists and this is the combo oh apologies i didn't have young wolf in play i could have cast that actually i believe yeah i could have cast that over the birds that was just a, a minor punt there yeah we would have just had the win here but anyway the opponent concedes so let's get on to sideboarding another matchup all about speed so we'll take out our slow cards and bring in our interaction for game two our hand's just a little too slow so we gotta put it back our six is much faster so we'll keep it and we'll just put back a birds of paradise phone just goes land go Yogmoth, a fantastic draw. We'll cast our dork. Opponent marches our hierarch. That's fine. Top deck of blood artists. We'll just play that for mana efficiency reasons. Opponent plays out a saga into a stone forge. They find a hammer. We end up finding a dryad arbor. It's an okay draw, but we'll play our young wolf and pass the turn. Opponent goes ink moth into a giver and attacks him with stone forge. We won't block. We end up drawing a dork. We'll just cast that and plan on casting forest on their turn. Opponent makes a construct on our instep. Opponent chooses just to float a mana rather than making a construct. They 
they play a land and grab the Shadow Spear off Saga. When it casts a Pure Steel into a Hammer, when it equips the Construct, they put Hammer and Shadow Spear on it. And we'll just go to force both of these uh, equipments. Opponent ends up having a Blacksmith skill for the Hammer. So we still kill the Shadow Spear and we'll just Chump Block. And a nice little drain for one. Let's go. It lands a fine draw, but we are really just looking for another Undying creature and we just win the game here. And we'll keep up our dual land here rather than a forest. So they protect their pure still, which isn't really that big of a deal. Back Dryad Arbor, put a counter on Yaw or Young Wolf, on a Yawgmoth, that's okay. We'll go to put a counter on the Giver, and another High Arc, which is fine. Land's okay, kill the Giver here. Find a Geist. That means we can win next turn, and with Shadow Spear out of the way, I don't believe they have any real outs here. So we'll just say go. Oh, it animates the Ink Moth, and they go to equip their Ink Moth, so we will put a counter on Young Wolf in response. And after that resolve, our opponent is ephemerating their land i believe i'm a little bit confused here but i'll just let this resolve i guess i'm not really sure what that was about but opponent plays the stone forge after opponent slams another hammer rips up the other stone forge and as long as we're at two life we can combo next turn so we will block sack the wolf put a counter on pure steel all stringer root go to six or just equips their pure steel but none of this matters so we'll just go land into a strangle root that should just be the game opponent scoops them up before we can combo so let's get on to match number four Match four, we are on the play yet again with an also fine hand. We'll just play a tap land and say go. Oh, it leads on Valakit, so probably Titan. Draw a cord, fantastic draw. Play a wall of roots. Oh, it plays a T West and just passes. We'll go land into our Yogmoth and pass it up. Oh, it plays a Dryad into a Gardens. We draw a Misty. So we are going to lead on cording for a Young Wolf here. Pick up our Wolf. Play our Misty, fetch out a basic here. Play a Grist and kill this Dryad. And we're actually still holding up the Seiju here because Yog is a legend and this makes one mana. Oh, it just plays. A bounce land floating three mana probably gonna transmute the t west which they do they find a summoner's pack but we just have the wind probably rolled up here Draw another gris so we'll lead on ticking up put a counter on our wolf sacking insect Draw another wolf now we just need to find a cord or an eldritch and we just win the game and opponent scoops before we even do the combo let's get on to sideboarding here bring an artifact hate and necro for the slow cards for game two our seven just has a color source so we gotta ship it our six card hands also a little skeptical but i will keep and it leads on turn one saga the Ogmoth of and draw will lead on haywire might oh it insteps a dismember on the haywire might oh it just goes forest we draw beseju actually quite a good draw we will kill their urza saga now this play just denies them a map and an amulet when it plays bounce land the yagmoth not the greatest we'll fetch up a forest and slam our grist pick up grist mill over land say go when it floats three plays a bounce land and a dryad and do another land draw another eldritch so i'm actually gonna eldritch away this insect grab a strangle root geist down tick my grist that geist kill the dryad and we'll ship in for three. Now oh, opponent has another dismember. Opponent casts a summoner's pact, revealing Titan, then just plays a land and plays a Titan. Opponent grabs two Valakits. We find a land, which is okay. We will cast our Yogmoth, but I don't have high hopes that we're actually gonna be alive next turn. Opponent pays for the pact. Yep, and then they have another pact. This will just find Dryad, and we are just dead here. Yep, and this is 18 damage with three Valakits, so we'll just concede. Get into game three. Game three, our hand's a little funny, but we have to ship it. Our six is a little slow, but it has Necro, which is a great hate card so we'll keep a turn one tapped land opponent just goes land go we find a land which is great slam guys and attack for two an opponent just takes it opponent just plays the gardens and says go Ooh, we draw an eldritch we'll lead on attacks again opponent just takes it i'm going to fetch up a swamp and cast this eldritch back in the strangle root opponent cast a swan song wowzers well, at least we have a pretty good pressure here opponent slams a dryad and a bounce land all accord which is fine back in for two then we'll just necro primeval titan they did have a titan in hand so we'll take all of this and we you're looking at just ways they can win left seems like it's just cultivator colossus and valakut opponent does cast the pack find another dryad and they have enough mountains here because of dryad and they shoot down our geist opponent attacks us for four we draw a land so that means we will slam our yagmoth attack in for two opponent pays for the pack but transmute a t west probably gonna find a bounce land so i think i'm gonna kill or sack the bird here in response and hope that we find a force of vigor Found a blood artist which isn't a great draw yep and opponent finds a vesuva yep and this is just lethal they get to bounce this twice and then copy it Valkyrie on the last go and that's just lethal so opponent ends up getting us let's get into match number five on the draw for match five and hands perfectly fine we'll keep opponent goes island into hedron crab we draw a geist we'll just go land high arc opponent plays fetch mills us for three shocks and water grave mills us for another three and pushes our high arc we draw a high arc perfectly fine draw we'll just go double high arc opponent plays a fetch land milling us for three opponent fetches and mills us for another three opponent casts atasha's they did not mill any of our endurances so that's pretty good all grist just go land into yagmoth and we will attack the opponent for two here then we will sack arc nobles to 
kill the crab binding an endurance fantastic draw and a blood artist off the top i want to cast the new jace and instantly minus fives them still have seven cards left in the deck so we're perfectly fine here and we draw a cord so we will cast our geist cast our blood artist and we'll sack our strangle root guys before combat to do an extra two damage chip in for five and we'll just cast the endurance now because they do have drown lock put our cards back in back the endurance to put a counter on our strangle root and we'll just pass after that i believe we should just win 35 cards left in the deck seems pretty hard for the opponent to win opponent cast an ensnaring bridge and just passes after that we draw another geist so we'll cast that pre-combat play land and then attack the opponent we can win without lethal anyways but we might as well just attack in and we will sack one of the geist trigger blood artist and that's the game let's get into sideboarding just trimming around the edges and bringing in the good cards game two hands a little slow but it has the best two cards in the matchup so we'll keep opponent goes land ruan crab iric was a fantastic draw we'll just slam that on turn one oh it has another crab oof into a fetch land good thing we have the endurance in our hand when it shocks in a watery grave milling in another six cast a soul guide lantern so we have to evoke this endurance in response and we'll pitch a grist to it even though grist is quite good shuffle back in our 13 cards and lantern resolves all a bird I believe i'm gonna go wall of roots into geist this turn as us attack for three additionally allows us to establish our mana a little bit better opponent just takes three my opponent does nothing on their turn draw a young wolf we will cast our grist cast our young wolf down tick the grist to try and kill one of the crabs attack the wolf try and kill kill i guess a ruan crab this has a bigger but they let our wolf return we'll attack for three when it cycles the soul guide and just takes the three damage wow again opponent does literally nothing on their turn draw another grist we'll take up our first grist kill over yog go to combat and attack for four when it drowns our young wolf before damage and just takes two we'll cast our other grist and i'm just gonna kill this crab and we'll sack strangle root geist and cast our birds and pass after that again opponent does nothing Ooh, and we draw a cord we'll attack for four with the geist pick up with grist and pass the turn on it again says go nope and they just scooped it up and that's a 4-1 for us so overall we went 4-1 the deck the deck felt fantastic the only game we lost was you know to two mulligans to six post board and keeping kind of slow and mediocre hands the entire main deck felt amazing the only card i was a little bit skeptical of is prosperous innkeeper but i still think it's fine as for the sideboard everything felt great maybe scavenger juice could go because we do have four endurances but other than that the deck is fantastic would highly recommend this please consider leaving a like comment and subscribe it really helps me out and i will see you guys in the next video